Hello everyone, my name is Sergio Vasfield and I'm here to give you a lesson number two. And lesson number two, we will start with our old lesson number one, but we will continue into lesson number two by creating a simple input field. Okay, um, We will leave everything here like this except a few minor changes we will make um, to the actual uh, HTML page here. But... Uh, we're not going to be touching the, uh, the application file here, okay? So here, we will do something like first name. Uh, we will use a uh, mustache again, okay? Uh, input value equals first name. And uh, we will leave this like this. Um, we'll create a new P in here. We will use the last name. Again, we will use last name, mustache, uh, on the curly brackets for <coughs> handlebars, and we will put input value equals last name. Now, be very careful. Um, Handlebars in Ember.js are case sensitive, so if we are uh, to use last name and um, last name with the capital N, it's not going to be the same and it's visible right here because uh, I've just uh, s uh, switched it to the lowercase and if we uh, do it again, it appears here, okay? So be very careful. Um, and this is it. This is as simple as it gets with uh, with Ember.js. You don't need to write a lot to actually have a lot. And uh, I will show you something very interesting here. I will try to type. Um, let me see. Uh, I'm gonna go Mary, and you can see, and you can see that this changes right away. Mary. Johnson. Okay. As we type, things change right away. That's called a two way binding. Um, and I would say that this concludes lesson number two. And I hope uh, you can practice this. And I just want to say that um, don't just. Um, watch the code, watch the videos, but try to do something on your own. Even if it's something simple, even if it's just one one field with, um, you know, with one, one property or, you know, whatever you use, whatever you think of doing, just do it because it will help you. It will help your brain to memorize things uh, for later use, okay? So this concludes lesson number two, and I and I hope to see you in lesson number three. Thank you.